Hello everybody, welcome back. Hi guys, I'm cutting up my Kevlar. I want to show I bought me some new shears. I got these at uh at Lowe's. What you gotta look for with Kevlar is the serrated edge. These long bill things with the serrated edge. See scissors it wants to slide out when you cut. But he gets the right stuff, and man, right scissors, and it just cuts it like hot butter. No, I don't have any problem. I'm gonna mark it out with a pencil, and I put my. If you can see any mark, pencil mark, I put that up so. It's not visible in the finished tank. So if you got the right scissors, Kevlar ain't no big thing. If you got the wrong scissors, it blows chunks. <laughs> You know, but these were only $12, guys. You know, you don't have to buy them $100 shears at them places. You know, my other set lasted for a couple years, and they're still cut. They're just a little dull. But I cut all kinds of things with these scissors. Okay, these are my pieces for both tanks. Now, bang it. Now, this first layer of my three ounce. See, it's still sticky, but very little transfer. Now, if there's any pinholes in this first coat, I am fixing to seal them shut. And like I say, I don't know how other people make them, guys. I didn't get on the internet and look or nothing. But all I know is first round of tanks I made leaked. And uh, now I fill them up with water and check them first before I glue them together. That way I ain't ruining the whole dang tank. I can get in there and fix it before I glue them together, you know. Well, since I started doing them like this, I haven't had any of them leak. How can it? You know, and then I'll let this, I'll let my Kevlar tack up too, then I'll put my last coat of three ounce on there. And uh, that just seals it all up, man.
I'm going to put a fairly good amount of resin down because remember that Kevlar is going to soak some up. And I have better luck, less air bubbles, if I put the, a good amount of resin down first. Okay, let's put this bottom piece in there. Now remember, we want to go up the sides, all the sides, just a little bit. Someone asked me on my plug, why didn't I just make my plug uh, bigger and not add them wood deals, them spacers? Well, it would, it's a lot, it'd be harder to make the plug bigger because uh, you can fit it in the airplane and make sure it fits and it ain't that big a deal throwing a, pieces of, a couple pieces of wood down in there, you know. And we can make sure everything fits instead of guessing. You no. Know? And then I can use my plug to make my patterns and everything because it's the right size. Bam, there's that piece. Okay, now I'm gonna do this size. I'm gonna put an extra little bit of resin up there at the top for the flange. Make sure everything's overlapped. Where I 
can see it. It's about the same way with fiberglass. You want enough, if, if there's not very much sticking out of the top, it's actually harder to trim. You got a good solid eighth inch to a quarter is perfect sticking up. Make sure you got resin on that top. Is when the resin starts to stiffen up, that's the perfect time to get in there and trim it. If you got some resin on there, I think it's the only way you could trim it. I don't think you could cut it with a razor blade without it. I know you can't. It'll just shrivel up and turn the yarn. And then make sure there ain't no dry spots. Dry spots or your enemy here. Okay. And the same thing, put some resin on the top. When this stuff dries and sets up and you're looking at it from the outside, it looks like all one piece. Look as soon as this tacks up. When this tacks up, I'll trim this edge and then put my three ounce on there. Because if you let this Kevlar set all the way up, you'll have a heck of a time trimming it. Okay. Yeah, it's beautiful, baby. You think this would be a hard tank to lay up, but it's really not.
man, I got to do something with that channel. <laughs> it's the same channel the bike race was on. That was pretty good. There was a big old crash at the finish, man. Eight. Eight of the riders went down. Guy finished alone. Big old wreck. That's beautiful right there, baby. Got some nice overlappage going. Overlappage. There's your word for the day. Got some overlappage going. Bam, now I'm going to let that tack up. Now trim this edge. When I mean tack up, I mean when it's at that rubbery state. Uh, right before it goes off, man. And you just got to keep an eye on it. When it then you can come in here and trim this real easy. With just uh, the old balcony blade. And then I'll put the last layer of three outs on there. And then just let that set up. And that's how I keep my tanks from leaking, guys. My A4 ain't gonna have that plastic tank in it no more. Bam! We're gonna have a Kevlar one, baby. It's gonna be pretty. Gonna be a shame to cover it up with that turbo. So, until next time, we'll see you back in the shop.